guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Darlene and this is Earth and Medicine. So I am out at the ranch in Iowa today. I haven't really filmed a whole lot since I've moved here actually with residency just being so busy. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a doctor. I'm an internal medicine resident uh, here at the University of Iowa. So I just filmed an update video just kind of describing what's been going on the past few months and uh, I haven't really done as much filming yet so I kind of just want to show my barn routine and let you guys see the horses and just kind of take you along on my day to day here out at the ranch. Hey guys! What's up ponies? Alrighty. Hello ponies! It's actually really hot here in Iowa today. It's like maybe 90 degrees. And compared to back in Las Vegas, 90 isn't super crazy. But here with the humidity, the heat is just a lot more intense. And especially for the horses in this little paddock they've got, they don't have a whole lot of shade. And so when I'm coming out here, I kind of try to get them out of there and either take them into the barn or just kind of let them graze out somewhere where there's shade. I've got these nice fly sheets on them by uh, Weather Beta, I think it's called. Um, I actually really like them. They're very breathable, uh, very lightweight, like plastic uh, kind of material. And so I think the horses don't sweat a whole lot under them, um, but I still worry about them getting a little bit hot out here. So probably going to rinse them down a little bit, just get them wet and let their body temperatures cool, and then I'll, I'll turn them out. Tiny boy. What's up? You can't be girl. Hey guys. It's hot. Excuse me. Great. What is up? Ooh, hot. It's hot. are the Cashel fly boots. These are probably my favorite boots because they stay on super well. They are not loose up at the top like these ones over here are. And so they don't get a lot of debris in them. And these are the shoe fly boots that I wanted to try because a lot of people use them here at the ranch I'm at but I actually don't really like them that much. Um, I think they're too loose up at the top. Uh, I've had big rocks get stuck in them and then they get caught behind um, my horse's pasterns 
and then they cause like pressure uh, wounds and it can make them pretty lean. So I probably won't be buying those again. <laughs> a little bit and then I will get their halters on. Cute little ponies. What's up Luna? Hey big girl. Ponies are all wet and hopefully a little bit cooled off. So I'm just going to take them to go and graze on a little bit of greener grass. And I have been trying to run more and so instead of doing like, uh, you know, a lot of miles and um, kind of being out here in the heat a lot throughout the day, we've actually decided to do this like virtual Tevis 100 mile. Uh, thing and I'll actually just do it with myself my mom and my boyfriend Tristan, but we're going to run it and then I'll run a little bit of that with candy um, But she's a little bit older and it's really hot now in the summer and so I don't think I can put a ton of miles on her so um, I'll just do a few miles every day with her and just run um, Run on the ground and lead her so we'll probably do that this afternoon.
Alrighty, I am walking out into the field to go get another lady's horse. Actually, this is going to be Firefly. And the owner has agreed to let me ride her and work with her. And then hopefully uh, she'll be a good horse for Tristan to ride. So I'm just going to take her out and just help her kind of get back into shape because it's been a few years since uh, she's been ridden. So um, just going out to get her and it's a bit hot out here. So we're probably just going to take it easy today. her. These are all the other girls. Hello. Hello babies. Oh yes, everybody wants attention. Everybody wants attention. Pretty girl. Hey big girl. Alrighty, so had a super good ride on Firefly. This is my second ride on her. Uh, she was a little bit less prancy today. Uh, I can tell she really doesn't like working in the arena. Um, she gets just really anxious and 
just nervous and not enjoying herself. So just went out on the trail again and um, we just kind of went down the road and enjoyed cornfields and the grass and just a really nice weather today. And I think she enjoyed herself. She is <laughs> definitely less prancy and um, less upset about going on a ride today. She was good. my western saddle today. Uh, I have been riding my western saddle usually on horses that I'm not as familiar with because there's just a, a lot more leather and it's a little bit more secure to keep me in if they try to buck me off. Um, and so I love this saddle. Um, got a new lot go for it because my other one broke. And this one is nice and long which is good because she's got a bit of a belly on her. <laughs> so it's perfect.
Look at those faces. <laughs> one thing, one thing, oh no. <laughs> oh, blue lizard head. Is my hair okay? Yeah. Okay. Wait, you're too close to me. Alrighty, this is what I feed my ponies. So lately I have been doing Pro Force, and this is the senior. And I thought that they were both getting a little bit lean, especially with the heat here and the humidity. And so I actually bought, it's pretty much just oats, um, like whole oats. And then in that I also have mm. this like cracked corn. And then as far as supplements, um, I put Equipride in here. It's pretty much like salt and yeast. And I think it's got like some flax seeds in it. And then I also put more flax seeds, ground flax seeds, and a little bit of probiotics. And um, I think it's like MSM and glucosamine for their joints. I also put a lot of garlic powder in here, hopefully to help the flies. And they don't really like the flavor, but if I do just the right amount, uh, they don't spit it back out. All right, time for somebody else's cream. Okay. Oh, hello, cat. Oh no, not going to cut. Oh, Alright, Candy's ready for you. Candy wants a drink. Come here, Candy. Little Candy. Blankets. These are the Cashel fly boots that I really like. 
They have four straps and they are more contoured to fit like under the pastern and then also around the hoof itself, um, kind of like the top part of the hoof. And so I feel like they stay, they stay on really well. They get less debris through the top and they protect against the flies and they're also really breathable so the horses aren't sweating a lot. So I'll probably get more of these, but so far I'm still using the ones I've got on candy, which are the shoe fly, um, fly stockings. Um, but I really like these, so I recommend them. Hi, Katie! And I recommend a small cat, too. <laughs> Ooh. Shires. This is like the Shires fly mask with um, like a nose fringe. I do like this, however, I still don't think it's as good as the Cashel fly mask. <laughs> and I'm not paid by Cashel to like promote their products. I just think they make a really, really durable uh, fly mask and fly boots. I've never tried their fly sheet, but one of my friends had one of their fly sheets and it was really durable. And I honestly felt like it was like uh, too secure like it had so many velcro straps and um, that thing was not coming off but I really really like their fly gear um, it's a little bit thicker of I don't know if it's like a plastic material or something but it like the one I have on candy um, her other casual fly mask like it doesn't get the holes in the eyes and I've always had issues with the horses getting the holes in the eyes on like both sides especially with this finer mesh and then you also get the tears along the ears and this one doesn't have it but I have a fly mask by Weather Beta or Weather Beta and it has like tears here tears in the eyes and then tears along the nose band and so I haven't had those issues as much with the Cashel fly mask and like of course it happens with all fly gear you know horses are just really rough on their gear but I do think Cashel just makes really good stuff so yeah, I recommend them I also got these rope halters from Naughty Girls on Amazon, and I have a pair for both of my ponies. Um, they have the ones that come with the extra knots and the ones without, and they also have ones with metal hooks. Um, I like the ones without metal hooks because my experience with halters with metal on them, not that they're like more dangerous or anything, it's just if the horse like really pulls back hard, the metal is the first thing to bend, and then fabric usually doesn't break, and so if you have a halter it's all rope, like it's not gonna break. Your your hook on your lead rope's probably gonna break first. So if you have a horse that's in training or pulls back a lot and you really don't want them to learn to pull back and break free, I'd recommend getting like an all rope halter. <laughs> so these are the weather beta or weather beta fly sheets that I love. This is my third sheet by them. Besides just like fly protection, like with training young horses. It's good to kind of start getting blankets on them and fly masks and fly boots on them early because the later you wait to do it, the more nervous they are about something new like this. So it's actually really helpful. Like I blanket them every day, um, all day in the summer and here in Iowa, I have them blanketing them in the winter. But this just helps with like desensitization, like something really rustly, noisy, um, kind of scratchy and you throw it over them and it's really floppy and it, you know, makes them think of a predator. And the more they get desensitized to this, the safer the horse is. And so, um, you know, even if you don't have to put a fly sheet on your horse in the summer, I think it's really helpful for desensitizing them.
fly boots by Cashel. Um, this is actually, I think it's the Arabian size. So the ones on Sunny's front feet are the small or the large pony size. And these, I tried to get like a size a little bit bigger because they'd be longer and they would go a little bit farther up um, his leg. And, but then I found like the trade-off, unless I make my own custom boots, is that the longer the boot, the wider they are around and then the more likely they are to slip off the hoof. And, and just come off and so you kind of sacrifice length for tightness um but so these are kind of in between they haven't fallen off yet but i can tell they're like a little bit bigger and they kind of sag a little bit more over his his back feet but the quality is still really good and they're just super durable and i like the color <laughs> This is still not really protected, but I figure like his tail's long enough to swipe away flies that are up there. And then up here, he's able to get flies that are on like his knees and stuff with his mouth. So for the most part, all the spots that flies are going to get that he can't get off of himself, um, all the spots are covered. <laughs> Alrighty, and then, you know, I feel like the fabric is light enough like you can see my hand through it um that you know it's not it's not really thick and heavy and hot in the summer especially here uh, where the summers are really humid um i think these these uh weather beater blankets are just like i don't know the best lightness and best quality i have found so far another thing i also love about them <laughs> is they have like the rip stop um technology so if you get a rip uh, the weave is woven in a certain way that it like um, it doesn't continue to unravel so it kind of like increases the longevity of your blanket but you know with, with any blanket with a horse too it's only going to last so many years and then the rips are going to get bigger or they're really going to rip it bad <laughs> and you just have to get rid of it so yeah all right so now I'm just going to clean this little corral and I'll be done
<laughs> Two cats communing, making friends. Oh! Instigator. Totally trying to start something. That's going to go. Ready. Alrighty. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching you guys. Um, it was really good filming again and just kind of sharing my horses with you guys and my barn routine experience and my rides. Um, it always makes me feel good just spending time out here and uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back into sharing it with you guys. So uh, if you like this video, check out the other videos on my channel and like and subscribe and join me next time.